What's up gamers? Today I've got nine Mario RPG ROM hacks. Some of them are long, some of them are short, some of them are super difficult. So we're gonna see what they are. I was looking on YouTube and there's no video showcasing Mario RPG ROM hacks. So I'm making it. I'll have links down below to each one so you can download it, patch the ROM yourself and play them. So let's get started. Also, I should stress, these aren't in any order. I'm just gonna go in order that I have them in my EverDrive. Probably at the end, I'll make a summation of which ones I think are the better ones. Starting off, we're gonna jump into Ancient Shroomba. A lot of these ROM hacks, they have custom title screens and intros. So we have one right here, sealed in the sandy surface. Well, I can't read that, it's going too fast. You're gonna have to pause it if you wanna see that. Scary properties, apparently. Something sealed away. I don't know what it is, but we're going to roll with it. So yeah, this is Ancient Shroomba. Oh, I like the darker palette on this. It looks cool. Cool. We're in what looks like Balom, Balom's Temple. There's a lot of text going on here. We're not going to read through it all. We just want, kind of want to get an overview of the game, see how it plays, and then jump to the next one. There are no turn-based battles. Okay, so this is going to be kind of a platformer. Oh yeah, we do have heart containers. Similar to Mario 2, actually. So we can jump here, but I... I guess we have to go through this door. Oh, so we're getting cursed. I see. Cursed. Cursed. You can't run or jump anymore. Alright. Yeah, we cannot run. This is annoying. This is actually really annoying. But yeah, look at this. This is all custom. This is not from any part of the game. Aside from the textures and the palette itself. Let's go down here. Oh, we have a, to avoid that. A little jumpy. The camera's a little weird. I am playing this on real hardware. But yeah, you see how that's jumping there? It's kind of strange. We get a key. Now you can run. Okay. Oh, so we're at the way for this thwomp here. Hop on. We have a red coin. I don't know what that does but I will take it. So now we'll probably get jump. Oh, we just lost a heart. Wait, get the key. We can jump again. Okay, cool. What are these red coins for? There's no menu either. Just made it out of there. Okay, cool. We can go up here now. You do not have enough red coins. Oh, you need to get three red coins to get out of here, I guess. There's the last one. Okay, you may proceed. All right, down the pipe we go. Thank you for playing Ancient Shroomba. There you go, hacked by Yaki Bomb. So we got through the entire one. This is a short one. Do not steal my work. Sorry, I'm not stealing it, but I am showcasing. All right, let's go. Next up we have... I could do Armageddon, but I kind of want to save Armageddon for last. It's the most known about Mario ROM hack, Mario RPG ROM hack. The Baba Mafia. The five shells. All right. Cool. So we've got the standard intro. So nothing's really different about this. However, once we're in Bowser's castle, there's a note here. Dear Mario, the Baba Mafia has apparently decided I'm a jerk and didn't deliver the shells I paid for. I tell you what, if you stop the leader and bring me the shells, I'll give you the princess in return. The trampoline will take you to the Orchitsa, where the Babam Mafia's hideout is. I hear these guys are pretty brutal, so here's a warning. Bowser. Bowser, you're going to be on our team for once again? This place actually looks kind of sick. A dense odorif, odorif. I'm not even going to pretend I can say that word. A dense fog moves above the town. The vices of the soul thrive here. Deceit, treachery, dishonesty. Okay, so we got some plot. That's cool. Watch your back. Got it. Welcome. The welcome sign does nothing. What do you say? You guard the entrance? You'd rather be smoking out buildings? What does that even mean? 
I'm supposed to be policing the town with my brother. Okay, let's go in this house. Oh my God, what is happening here? Two idiot homeowner, molds growing in the sink again. I'm looking at the plumbing myself since you're too bloody lazy to fix it yourself. Gasparo, I'll start with the sink. Wait, is Mario actually gonna be a plumber? Okay, this pallet is so screwed. But we got a regular battle. Does Mario have any special abilities? Just standard jump. This is mold we're killing? We got the mold out of the kitchen sink. Okay, no, so don't touch that guy. What? What is this? Oh, you can just kind of go around him. Seems like there might even be new spells added. Yeah, because I don't remember seeing either of those. So that's pretty cool. Oh, we're going down the sink. We have a rat friend here, but I'm going to get this chest first. Oh, can't. You have to fight me to get it? All right, I guess so. Oh, you just run away. Whoa, never mind. Okay, so that's the basic intro to... The Babam Mafia. Is that what it was called? I think so. Next on the list, we have Deceiver Dome. This one, we don't get any custom title screen. Uh, it seems like the ROM hacking community for Mario RPG, not as big. I'm guessing it might be a little more difficult to make these, or there's just not as much interest. My illusion is working. Bowser never left its castle. Its castle? Mario is going to a trap. Oh, don't do it, Mario. Oh, damn. Dark Bahamut, finally you are here, in the Deceiver Dome. Well, I am the Dark Bahamut, your, num your fan number one. I brought you to my world to protect you of an illusion of Magic Koopa, but I don't know how you return to your home, period. Okay, dot, dot, dot. That's a cool model. We got the Lucky Hammer. Is this an unused sprite? It looks awesome. Or no, that might be in the game. That might be at the end. I don't remember this though. Uh, we might not survive this. Mario rocks, let's go. Custom spells. Okay, cool. We beat the first boss. Mario level two, all right, already. Let's go with health. Ouch, you are strong. Sorry, Mario, I'm so hungry. But, Mario, if you give me food, I will help you. All right, we gotta find this dude some food. What does this say? What a dark Bahamut are doing on this sad place? Bye. I don't think that made much sense. But I could be wrong. Joe has two cows. A uh, good tidbit of information to know. The lost Yoshi. But what is it? But what is it? Yoshman, I need you, Yoshman. The door is closed. Only the people with a trick trick cave key can enter here. Okay, I can't talk to you. I can't go in here either. Oh, he's pissed. Jump on your mother. <laughs> oh, we can actually go in here. That's cool. Hey, it's me, in my second form. I'm the leader of this place. Like this trick? But you discovered the secret. Now I have to give you this. Trick cave key, that's what we needed. Hey, it's the key, you can enter. Shh, I'm reading star 600. I'm not sure what that is, but cool. You're a secret seller. Oh, we have a shop, good. We only have 32 coins though, so we can't get much. Trick shirt and a trick cape. Let's get those, let's get a pick-me-up. Honey syrups are too expensive. Let's get some mushrooms. Hi, I am Kadinsky. Welcome to the Tri Cave. Want to play a game? Sure. You'll fight with some enemies. If I win, I give you a prize. All right, let's go. <laughs> what? WTF zone? Your first battle is easy. All right, let's do it. Standard enemies. Looks like Land's End.
we got through the first battle. Uh, let's leave it there. If you want to play more, download the game. Let's move on to Legend of the Axum Rangers. This one's got a custom title screen. Legend of the Axum Rangers. Buy an, buy an Axum Ranger. That's hard to read. The text is close together. Look at that. We got a different Mario. Axum Red. We'll call him Red. Do we get a custom intro? I don't think so. Seems to be a common theme that a lot of these hacks have the intro in it. Maybe that's one of the more difficult parts to change if you're doing a ROM hack. Cool, so this is the first model swap we've seen, or sprite swap, I should say. SMRPG Legend of the Axum Rangers, version two, an Axum Ranger production. In this hack, the five original characters have been replaced by the Axum Rangers. You will also find that just about everything in the game has been changed, but just like the original, there are plenty of extras to find. Let's go. Okay, so this is kind of standard. Oh, but these dudes aren't. Oh, I even like how they have the Famicom colors. I love that. Uh, specials, we have a jump, just like Mario normally does. Took them down easy. But who's Bowser going to be? So far, it's just been kind of a sprite swap. Oh, there's Toadstool. Oh, it's him. What are those guys called? I don't know who you are, but help. Oh, yeah, T Captain Torte. <laughs> what? Who are you? What are you doing here? Hit the chain. Oh, man, the timing on that is weird. The attack does more than the jump. I am aiming for the chain. Just, you hold on. There we go. Oh, our first stop is the Barrel Volcano. Cool, so the intro's the same, but we're starting in a different spot. I dig that. The palettes look a little different too. They got like this bluish hue to them, or in that case, green. This is actually kind of bad, I might die here. We're dead. All right, I'm back in the volcano. Now this time I'm actually gonna save, but I'd say so far of all the hacks we've looked at, this one's probably the longest. Uh, it appears to be the full the full game that's been completely reworked. If I can avoid this. Turns out I can't. Seems to be pretty difficult too, since they don't start you with any items or equipment. We got a flower jar, we'll wait on that. I don't think I have anything equipped, let's check though. Nope, we are empty. It does seem a little, like the layout does seem a little bit different. We got our boy, Hinopio. Nice, we can get some items. We're gonna get some mushrooms for sure. A couple of able juice and I guess a life shroom. If you step in the lava, you'll fly way high in the air, but you can still control where you land. Oh, that's cool. He'll get everything ready for us. What does that even mean? It's, I'm just laying on boxes. Wasn't that a cushy bed? <laughs> hey, it's yellow. Hey, you fat sacks of dog crap. Get back here with my ship. The blade? How do they steal a ship inside of the barrel volcano? That's crazy. What am I gonna do? Who are you? What are you doing here? Don't you guys know each other? All right, so we're gonna team up. Nice. Am I glitched right now? <laughs> cool, we got yellow now. Oh yeah, what were they saying about going in the lava? We have to try that. Really cool concept for this game, I love it. Is there a way around this guy? What's up, DK? Nice, yellow's pretty good. Oh, I need to check if yellow has any specials. Scarerize, that must be Terrorize. <laughs> nice. It's like a Pac-Man um, enemy. Mm, there's no way around that. Oh, 
Okay, well, it brought me back to the save point. I'm not sure what happened there, but that's kind of an introduction to Legend of the Axum Rangers. Let's move on. Next up, we have Mario is a drug addict. Mario is a drug addict. Okay. I see the trippy colors already. Oh, yeah, I started this one a little bit. Oh my god, Bowser's palette looks crazy. Also, this music's different. Okay, the palette is green, and Mario's eyes are super red. <laughs> I wonder why that is. Oh my god, the frickin' button palette looks crazy. I don't think there's gonna be too much different with this game, now that I see it. I thought it was more custom than this, but I think it might just be a palette swap, music swap. My god, is that Peach with green hair? <laughs> also, Bowser looks sick. Oh, flashing lights, jeez. I might, I might not even show this. Are right, your eyes, they're all glossy. Hey, buddy, I can explain. She was beating up my Goombas. All right, enough of that flashing lights. Dude, not cool. That was a present. King DDD gave me that. Dude, it's gonna break. You're a jerk. Oh, the blue hammer's coming up. Are you on mushrooms? Not again, Mario. We need to have a talk, dude. <laughs> Mario's the villain in this game. Mario, we're tired of seeing you throw your life away on drugs. It's time to clean up your act. You have a drug problem. Oh, Mario, you have to get help. Let's get you into rehab. I'm still tied up. So you can get the premise of this one. <laughs> we can move on. Next up on the list, we have Mushroom Fever. Oh, custom intro, sick. Mushroom Fever. Let's roll the new file. Oh, or Mallow? All right. Okay, we got some creepy mushrooms circling Mallow. Are they performing a spell on him? Oh, they've turned him into a mushroom. Sometime later. We're chilling in the cave. Maybe I can lure that wiggler somehow. All right, cool. We have control of a mushroom. This is weird. We can't jump. We can go over here, though. Talk to this. Oh, we picked one up. What do you know? We have, we have a menu. No equipment. It's too deep to cross. This is cool. This is like the Midas River area. Wait, I don't want to talk to you. Where, where are you bringing me? Okay, I guess we're over here now. Wiggler hopping for young spores. Care to read it? Sure. The wigglers won't mind if you hop on their back. Simply hop on and they'll take you along. Be warned, however, they will not wait for you. So try to move quickly. If you lose it, you must go back to find another. I can kind of go under that texture there. That's strange. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Well, Mario came out for a second there. Oh, we have a little a friend here. We're going to ride on their back. Let's get off here. Okay. All right. Oh, no, dude. Come on. I'm not sure if this is the whole game, if this is the idea of it, and there's no combat or anything. I mean, it is Mushroom Fever, so this might be it. Ah, I didn't know where to go. Shoot. Okay. Well, I need to figure out how I can get... Maybe I just stay on the Wiggler there. 
Nope, you don't just stay on the Wiggler, so there must be some other way you go. This isn't my favorite style or my favorite idea for a game. Okay, it's super frustrating. I'll go as far as to say it's pretty jank. Um, yeah, I don't actually know how you're supposed to do that. Oh, you're supposed to go around here. Okay, that makes more sense. How do you make that? That's crazy. Am I screwed? Uh, I'm actually in a soft lock. <laughs> okay, this one is probably the worst one we've seen so far. I cannot move. I cannot do anything. <laughs> next. Okay, next up we have Super Mario RPG Rai Neisuke. I think that might be how you pronounce it. Okay, we have two ways that we can go. Oh, we're at Midas River. Found a hammer. That's just what we needed. Oh, a customer. You're the first one I've had in a while. Tell you what, for you, I'll sell everything to you at half price. Mid mushroom for 154. Red essence for 800. Yoshi aid for 700. Ribbon for 120. I can't afford any of this. I have no money. What? That is half price. Yes, yeah, screw you too, buddy. All right, let's save quick. We're in pandemonium. All right. Oh my god, this looks bad. So we're in what appears to be the Barrel Volcano. And the palette is just horrible. We have some music. What's up, dude? Are you an enemy? You're an enemy. Oh, wow. This, this palette's not good. Okay, here's the question. I'm playing this on real hardware. If I played this on an emulator, maybe it looks way better and way different. So I'm not going to judge it. But this is what I'm capturing. Not sure what's going on completely. And we're dead. Let's try to go a different way. No, that's the only way we can... Wait, no, actually, we can go this way. Okay, so I'm gonna say this game is just way too difficult, but we're gonna try to push on. I'm curious to know where we're going here. Okay, we have a boss right away, which is normally the Czar Dragon. Looks like it's gonna be a blue version of that. Oh, what was that? What is this spell? I mean, I like the fact that it has custom spells. That's kind of cool. It's just I have no chance in hell of beating this. <laughs> you can give it a try if you want. I've already game over three times. <laughs> Let's move on. These The last two are probably the worst we've seen so far. Next up, we have a ROM hack called Reserve 22. All right, so it looks like we start in a place that looks kind of similar to Booster's Tower. Uh, and we just get knocked out immediately by something. Good morning. Got a lack of two. Looks like you've fallen from the sky for no reason. How delightful. I'm lacky lacky. I own this mansion. Isn't it pretty? I do love blue and gray. Isn't it uncanny? Oh, you must have lots of questions, right? Well, that's too bad, I suppose. Because if you want anything done, you should have your living plant monsters do it for you. They're behind you, by the way. We're right into combat. Uh, that's kind of cool. The battle icons, they look way different. We're fighting Danny. We're already taking some pretty good damage. Okay, we got one down. I should check if we have any specials. We have jump and fire our classic. No items. There we go. Aw, uh, that wasn't polite. Although, I guess you had to, you know, to stay alive. You're gonna heal me? Oh, thank you. Now I get to fight you. So this one's got a lot more lore to it. I like that. Mm, very interesting, very interesting fighting there, mister. Anyway, I guess I shouldn't keep you in this room for too long. I, I'll get someone to open the door. The dark boo opens the door. Guess I'm off. Okay. So it seems like we have uh, some exploration to do. And avoid the booze. 
which is easier said than done. So we already start out with pretty good HP, which is nice. I'd say so far, this one seems very good, especially when we compare to the last two we just looked at. Oh, look at this dude. It's all shiny. Hello there, stranger. Shop or save? Can we do both? Murky Shroom? A Psycho Womp? We probably should get that for Mario. Generic shirt? He needs that too. And probably should just get some mushrooms. Since you came by, let me in on a little known thing around here. Let me in on? I think you meant to say, since you came by, I'm gonna let you in on a little known thing around here. These blue blocks all have different qualities to them. That's all I'll say on the subject. Okay then. Psycho Womp and generic shirt. Oh, we can climb them, that's cool. You've made it quite far. I do have to admit, I figured you had have given up by now, but alas, someone is more persistent than I had anticipated. Delightful.jpg. <laughs> oh, we have our first boss. Have fun with these spirit bombs. I can honestly say I didn't want to reference Dragon Ball Z, but it just seemed appropriate. Bye bye Let's hit him with a fire orb. Alright, these guys, no, they're no problem. Just use a fire orb on them and they're done. Okay, so that's the first boss, and I will leave it there. Well, let's move on. It's time for the legendary Mario ROM hack. Super Mario RPG Armageddon. I should have left that screen up a little bit longer. We've got some custom music, a little custom palette here. I like it. So Armageddon is very similar to Mario RPG, but... It's a lot more difficult. Like we're talking a ramp that goes he from here, where's the original game, and we go all the way to the moon as far as difficulty is concerned. There's new timed attacks. So instead of just having your standard timed attack that you hit once, we're gonna hit twice now. And we can block, I believe, every attack possible. We can block physical attacks and we can block magic attacks, which is really huge. However, the timing is super hard and you do a lot of damage in this game. It's pretty fun. Hey, what's going on, Rosalina? Hello, welcome to Super Mario RPG Armageddon. This is a free, fan-made ROM hack. If you paid money for this, you were ripped off. This is very different from the original game. There are many new challenges and features. One important change is timed hits and blocking, like I was saying. You should practice these before you continue. You need to practice? We'll practice. Okay, very important. Let's practice the second timing. For your normal punch attack, press A just before the second hit. If you deal 150 damage plus 150 plus damage, it means you landed the second timing. Blocking has also changed. You can block spells. Try to defeat this Terrapin. So therefore, I didn't get the timed attack there. And I didn't get it again. This is actually super difficult to get the timing right. There, I got a block on that. There we go, I got the timing. When I first played the beginning of this, I had such a struggle with this first part. Just getting through the practice mode. Because once you get under 100 HP, Rosalina heals both you and the Terrapin back to full health. So you're kind of stuck in this soft lock until you beat this guy. The magic attacks, I really don't know how to block yet. See, I was so close. I needed one more hit on him. Ooh, we did 200 there. That was sick. There we go. We got him. I actually didn't think I was going to get it that time. So the actual tutorial mode is far harder than the first section of the game. Blocking is very important for reducing damage. Be sure you learn the timing. Because remember, you cannot block multi-target attacks, so be aware. Right, so you can't, you can't block the... AOEs or the area attacks, whatever you want to call it. This is the standard mode for casual players. Many new surprises await you. Good luck and have fun. And right off the bat, there's some blue coins, so that's a new thing.
They're called galaxy coins, okay. Now we're in a real battle. See, I have 250 health, like that's way higher than normal. The timings are totally different though. Also the palette for the, for the buttons, it looks really cool. Kind of nuts how the animation timings and everything just looks so much look they look and feel so much different when you play this it's really remarkable oh now we have 300 health there we go so we can't even attack the the chain yet actually there's not even a chain this time it's uh looks like fly guys holding these chandeliers up that's kind of cool if you go into this trying to do the old timing from the first game you're not gonna do well it's very different i can't even do it what a joke Put some muscle into it. Mario, the rope. Aim for the rope. So now we're gonna hit the rope, like we used to hit the chain. These magic spells, I've gotta figure out how to block. Also, I might die. Okay, good, mushrooms heal you a lot more. I did a thousand there. So you can see, we're gonna have a lot of health in this game. I was do I was watching somebody play this and they had, I think they all, all their characters had 9,999, probably towards the end of the game, but you know what I'm saying. There we go, got the rope. Nice little Mario 3 music. Aw, oh, dude, I love this. This is what's up. This is what needs to be here all the time. Luigi, my dude. Bro, looks like you're off for another adventure. I'll stay here with Yoshi. Hey, I thought the princess was here with you, Mario, so where is she? And we're gonna get the, probably the same canon text. Yep, yeah, I'll bring her back. So we got Yoshi. Mario, looks like you're off for another adventure. I'll try to help any way I can. I'll go look for anything that might be useful. Check back from time to time to see if I've found anything cool. Got a blue coin back here. Be careful, there are rare and powerful monsters out there. You can't see them, so one might pop out of nowhere. There's supposed to be an item that helps you find them more often, but that sounds dangerous. Out of all the ROM hacks, this one's the closest to the original vanilla game, but don't let that distort your perception of if you would want to play this because I think it would still be a great experience and probably one that's going to be far more difficult. So if you want to challenge, play Armageddon. But if you're looking for something more just unique and new, you know, you might want to pick one of the other ROM hacks. So there's a taste of Armageddon. Pretty much wraps up all the ROM hacks. Okay, so out of the ROM hacks, we had Ancient Shroomba. Pretty cool. It was very short. Uh, Armageddon is obviously going to be the most fleshed out and most notable ROM hack, I'd say, on the list. Super challenging. Definitely worth trying. Uh, the Baba Mafia. Oh, right. Baba Mafia. Eh, it was okay. It was very, it was very green. Remember, we went in the kitchen, right? And we had to clear out the mold. So that one, I would say, was a little strange. Very. I mean, still cool, I guess, cool concept or whatever. Deceiver Dome, I think that was a really good one. Deceiver Dome, um, it's short. We didn't get very far into it. I don't think it's going to be the best one on the list, but is definitely worth mentioning. Legend of the Axum Rangers, very cool concept, very long. Super Mario RPG ROM hack, definitely worth trying. Seems pretty difficult. Mario's Drug Addict, uh... <laughs> pretty funny concept. The palette swap and the text swap were pretty good, pretty funny. Mushroom Fever, interesting platforming idea, not exactly my favorite. Uh, Reineske, ah, uh, right. Reineske was a little weird because it wasn't working properly on my console, so it might look better if you just use an emulator. Because the screenshots that I see, they look pretty good. Like, this looks like a good hack, um, but it seems pretty difficult, so watch out for that. And then Reserve 22, that one was really good. It had some great lore to it, so I don't know how I'd rank these, but if I had to pick, I would say Armageddon is on top, and I'd put Reserve 22 after that. Uh, Reneske looks good. I didn't have a good experience. Legend of Axe and Rangers, I would say those are like the top four, it would appear. Um, Ancient Shroom is really good, it's just very short. And then a couple of those other ones were pretty bad, but still worth mentioning. But that should do it, guys. I appreciate you all watching. Let me know down below if you've played any of these or if you've played any different ones.
because I'd like to check out some other ROM hacks as well. So thanks guys, I'll see you in the next video.